Hey everyone, Desiree here, and in this video, I'm going to show you my massive and sometimes overwhelming pen, pencil case, pen case collection. So you can see I've got all my uh, pen cases kind of laid out here. I've also got a box of pens here, and I'm going to show you all of the pens that I use and that I love and that I take with me. And so, um, I think it's kind of fun because I know there's a lot of pen junkies out there like me. And so I love to see, you know, pencil, pen case videos and pen and pencil case collection videos. So I thought I would do one of all of my pens. Now, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, seven bags of pens. And then I've got this big box here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've got in each um, case and I guess kind of tell you how I have it organized. Now, of course, I won't go through detail on each and every one, but I'll just do kind of like an overview of everything, and then that way you can see uh, what I have and how I kind of keep it together. Now, some of these uh, pen cases you have seen in prior videos, so I won't go into too much detail with those, and then some of them I've done in other videos, and they've since been updated, so I'll let you see how I've got... I've got that working for me as well. So let's go ahead and start. Oops. Um, the first thing you guys saw was probably this little Ziploc baggie. Now I did a video on my favorite highlighters and stuff like that. So that's all I've got in here. I won't go through them, but this is where I keep all, all the highlighters that I use. Uh-oh. <laughs> dropping all my pens. Oh yes, if you hear Caden in the background, he's playing his Angry Bird game. Yeah, playing Angry Bird Star Wars. Yes, Angry Bird Star Wars. That's what that loud noise in the back was. Oh, okay. So, next up, uh, I have my Design for Arrangement pen case. And I did a video on this a long time ago, but I have since kind of uh, for the most part, it's the same, but it's kind of changed up a little bit, so I'll show you what I've got in here. This will focus. There we go. So I, I keep my Le Pen pens in here. My Microns are on this side, and then sticky notes, and some of my Pilot G2 pens are on this side, and then I've got a pencil as well. Next is my UB pen case. Now, I know you guys have seen this in several videos, so I'm not even going to go into it. If I can remember, I'll just link the video below because this has not changed. It's still the exact same way as it was that you've seen in prior videos. This is one of the, um, I think it's the Nate Berkus line from Target. I don't... I don't think he still, or I don't think they still carry this particular design, but a while ago, I, I think it's Nate Berkus, had a um, stationary line. He might still have it at Target. And so I bought this pen case, and this is the uh, pencil case I use with my Midori for my Bible study and spiritual journaling. So this kind of stays with that particular notebook. And I've just got random pens, nothing special. Some sticky notes. And then on the little pocket, I've got, um, I think, page flags in here. Oh, no, a glue stick. And then it's got the little strap so you can hook it on to your book or whatever. Okay, next. This is a old... Um, airline toiletry kit case that I've had for well over 10 years. I used to be a flight attendant for Continental, which no longer exists, but anyways, these were the little toiletry kits that we used to give out to passengers many years ago. And so in here, I don't really use this, it's just kind of just storage, but I've got um, random colored ballpoint pens that I picked up like from Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store, a marker, 
So this is basically just storage. I don't, I don't use it as like a main pencil case, but I like it a lot, so that's why I keep it around. Uh, next is this little. I think it's a. Um, it's also a little like a little makeup case that I picked up at Target, probably a couple years ago. I used to use this as my work uh, pen case. Oops, but I haven't really used it for that. I'm not really using it at all. I've got some markers in here, a few markers in the back there. Those were a rack from my friend Corey. Clips and index cards in here, and then I, I've got some stickers and sticky notes in here. So I really do like this case. I'm just not using it right now because I like that it's got the two separate zipper compartments. So, oh, and it's by contents, if you're curious. All right, then we've got this big, big gal here. Now, I did a video on this a long time ago because I was using it to store my pens. Well, I have since outgrown it for that particular purpose of the pens that I was storing in there before. So this has been updated. Again, this is one of those toiletry bags that I picked up from Target. I don't particularly like the um, the design, but it was on clearance. I think it was like three or four dollars. But um, anyways, I've got all of my Sharpies in here. And I may even have some more Sharpies floating around the house because my son likes to use them for school. But anyways, all of my Sharpies are in here. I love how this can hold so many. Oops. Then on this, <clears throat> excuse me, on this side, I've got my, um, what are these pens called? I forget the name of them. Oh, the Zig uh, Millennium pens. Those are really good pens. And then just some random, uh, my white Uniball, <clears throat> excuse me, friction pens, a pencil eraser. Then on this side, I've got my Papermate Flares, another favorite. And then over here, I have my Inkjoy ballpoint pens and also my favorite uh, Bic ballpoint pens, which are these, these here. <clears throat> I think they're called, if it's going to focus, it might not. Oh, there it goes. It's called the Crystal Bic uh, ballpoint. These are kind of like the ballpoint pens I grew up with, and I really like these. They write really good and it has kind of more of a medium tip, and they've got great colors, so these are my favorite ballpoint pens. And then I've also got my Sakura, Sakura Jelly Roll pens. I really like these. I know some people don't care for them, but I really like them, um, and I keep them in there because I've actually used up quite a few of them. So... Oops, let's focus. There we go. So um, that is what I've got in this big case. And then finally, uh, as you all know, I am a gel pen junkie. So my gel pen collection somehow magically keeps growing. And eventually <clears throat> it outgrew this bag. And so I had to uh, put them in here, and you can see there's no sense of organization in here, but I have a lot of gel pens. And I really need to take, make the time to go through them because some of them work, some of them don't, some of them work better than others. And some are not even gel pens. Yeah, most of them are gel pens. Yeah, like this isn't a gel pen, but it goes in there. But anyways, <laughs> and that is my gel pen collection. So, oops. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at my massive, somewhat overwhelming pen and pen case collection. I know I have way more than I need and way more than I can use at any one time. I admit that, but... Hey, this is my thing, and um, it works for me. I know I don't need to buy any more pens, probably at least for another year or 
maybe five. But um, <laughs> anyways, so that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this collect uh, this video, collective video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.